Hi, it's a beautiful Saturday in Atlanta. I hope your day is as bright and shiny as this one is here. And even if there's a few clouds hanging in the sky, maybe we can um, make our own sunshine, sort of like you make your own hay, right? I want to start with a poem today. And um, I just heard this this morning on a podcast and it really, you know, it was, it was really sank true and tied into our practice we're going to work together. Um, so, find a comfortable seat or lie on your back. You choose. Just get situated and close your eyes and come into your breath. And clear the thoughts between the ears, deepen the breath, feel it flow from top to bottom through your torso, expanding and pulling in that energy with the inhale and releasing what you're grasping with the exhales and feeling grounded and secure right where you are rooting down and lifting high. The poem, it's called Work by Margaret Newton. The work of every leaf is to open in the sun. The wor work of every root is to tunnel through the earth. My work is to recognize the interior of my soul and wonder at the difference between life and living. And it's that element of wonder, that element of recognizing the interior of your soul and really questioning the difference between life and living. The podcast I was listening to today, they tied it to doing versus being. It's easy for us to do as humans. We love to do, 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 do. And it's sort of like working down your checklist, your tasks, clearing them off. But do you approach your do's, your tasks, with a thought and intention and awareness as to the implications it has to you, the implications perhaps they have for others, perhaps the joy that it brings, or even the darkness. Doing versus being. That's how I want you to move through your practice today. I want you to think of being in your practice, being in your pose, finding that strength in your body, and do it with, and per, perform, not do, perform it with wonder. Wonder and awe. So with those thoughts, bring your hands to heart center. Set an intention for your practice, for your day carry you through the week. Take a deep breath in, and exhale out. Coming together with a round of own, breathe in. Release that. Inhale for own. The sound of them, um, the magic of the call, shouting out to the universe, I'm here to be in my body, I'm here to create strength, I'm here to recognize and wonder the difference between life and living. Drop your chin towards your fingertips. Seal your intention with gratitude into your practice. And then begin a transition to your mat. 
We're going to spend a little time on our knees today. So if you need a little towel, or if you have a yoga blanket, you might want to just position it sort of to the beginning of the second half of your mat, where your knees will land. And let's take a little movement with the body. If you want to um, listen along on a playlist, I'm going to play uh, Aquarian Flow on my uh, Spotify lists of playlists. And start to get some circular motions into your hips. And feel that. You know, feel the movement and feel the strength through the body working together and staying integrated, not just swinging and swaying, but movement and motion with strength and wonder. And then change the direction of your hips. Feel a little more opening through your hips as you sink and sweep to the outer edge of the mat. Feel a little opening and fluidity in the shoulders as you shift around and press firmly into your palms. And then come around through center, big toes touching, take a breath in, sink back to child's pose. Be active in your child's pose, walk your fingertips forward, draw the hips back, your belly can rest between your thighs or on top of your thighs, and walk the fingertips a little bit forward, pull the hips a little bit further back. Feel more distance from fingertips to hips, and maybe a little stretch through the arms and the sides of the body. Child's pose. This position, this shape is always available to you if you need a little break during our practice. And then round back up to tabletop. If you want to begin the music, turn it on now. Again, it's Aquarium Flow. Nancy tweets about by this. And then lift the hips, the toes, root to the earth, find a down dog shape. Come high with the heels, soften through the knees, tiptoe to the front of your mat. And then when you get here, again, let's sway a little bit to the left and to the right. Being in the body, being with your breath. One more each direction. And then come back to center, feet are grounded, palms to the shins for a flat back stretch on your inhale, spine is long, back of the neck flat. Exhale, fold to the earth. And let's repeat that flat back stretch on the inhale, spine is long. Exhale, fold to the earth. One more flat back stretch on the inhale. And then exhale, fold to lower. Press to your feet, rise, lift high. Send your heart up high, send your gaze upwards. Reach fingertip to ankle. Be in the body, feel this pose, feel the strength and the power of the feet and the extension and elevation through the fingertips. One more deep breath in, lengthen, exhale, forward fold, surrender to the earth. Lengthen again, part way with the inhale, fingertips to the mat, left foot to the back of the mat, exhale, drop the left knee to the earth, Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, practice the arms, shine the heart bright. Reach back up to the sky with the inhale, fingertips to the mat, Ardha Hanumanasana with the exhale. Slide that right heel forward and then root it and draw the right hip back, squaring them out so you get the extension through the hamstring. Gas foot toe, gas pedal. Breath, easy, but perhaps gaining more heat and momentum. Foot back down to the earth, hands to the mat, lift the left knee, step the right foot to the back of the mat, find your plank pose, 
Long breath in. Exhale, knees, chest, chin to hover. Slide through for your cobra. Exhale, lower back down. And then bring your fingers out six inches to the outer edge of your mat. Elbows upside down like gold pose. Press into the pads of the fingertips. Inhale, lift up. Ah, exhale, lower back down. Round up, lift again, inhale, make a little wave. Exhale, lower back down. One more, lift up. Exhale, the lower. Palms by the armpits. Press up to tabletop, empty back to child's pose. Round back to tabletop, toes curl, knees float, hips lift. Knees can be bent or legs can lengthen. Lift the heels high again, soften through the knees, walk back to the front of the mat. And then when you arrive there again, swing towards the left, sway to the right. And get loose. Ribs and thighs kind of graze as you transition from side to side. And then come back to neutral, palms to the shin, flat back stretch as your inhale. Exhale, lower back down to the mat. Repeat, flat back stretch as the inhale. Exhale, lower to the earth. Rise again. Push to the feet, lift through the fingertips. Find length and extension, let the heart lift, let the gaze lift, draw the ribs in. Come together with an inhale, exhale, lower back all the way down to the earth. Lengthen partway with the breath in, fingertips to the mat, right foot to the back of the mat, right knee lowers, Anjali Asana, inhale, reach up. Exhale, cactus your arms, shine it. Reach back up with an inhale, hands to the earth, Ardhanamanasana with the exhale, slide that left heel forward, Root it down, draw the left hip back, square the right hip forward. Feel the stretch through the hamstring, engage through the foot. Left foot back to the earth, knee over the ankle, palms to the mat, right knee lifts. Plank pose is your inhale. Knees, chest, chin is the exhale. Slide through for your cobra, breath in. Exhale, lower. Cactus the arm again. Elbows up. Spider fingertips lift up with the breath. Make it away. Lower back down. Round back up in. Make it away. Lower back down. Round back in to hold this time. Glance over the left shoulder. Come to center. Glance over the right shoulder. Come to center. Ah, empty the breath. Lower to the earth, palms by the armpits, press up to tabletop. Exhale back to child's pose. Come back around to tabletop on your inhale. Neutral with the spine on the exhale. Left leg lifts behind you. Inhale, over the knee, underneath the body, exhale. There is no elbow. <laughs> Extend the left leg, inhale. Thigh to the ribs, knee to the nose on the exhale. Press back with the breath. Thigh to the ribs, knee to the nose. Lengthen to extend again. Left knee down to the earth. Switch to the right leg, press it back in. Exhale, thigh to the ribs, knee to the nose. Press back, breath in. Thigh to the ribs, knee to the nose. Press back, thigh to the ribs, knee to the nose. Extend it back, both knees to the earth, toes curl, spine neutral. Float the knees, press into the palms for four, three, two, one is the inhale, knees lower with the exhale. Cow pose with the breath in, angry cat. Extend it out. Neutral spine, right leg is long. Give me the inhale. Thigh in the ribs, knee to the nose. Exhale, give it a smooth move. Set it forward in between the hands. Return to Anjali Asana. Exhale, 
exhale, cactus the arms. Reach the arms back up with the breath in, right arm back, left arm forward. Take a high twist, hold here. Drawing the energy of the right shoulder around. Extending fingertip to fingertip, front of the mat to the back of the mat. Inhale, reach your arms up overhead. Exhale, hands to the mat. Lift the left knee. Step to the front of the mat. Exhale, lower. Press to the feet, rise to the sun. Forward fold, surrender to the earth. Lengthen again on the inhale, hands to the mat, right foot back, exhale, left foot follows, plank pose, inhale, knees, chest, chin, hover, exhale, one cobra, slide up through center, exhale to lower. Press up to tabletop, empty back to child's pose. Return to tabletop, left leg, one time, extend it out, breath in. Find the ribs, knee to the nose, give it a kiss. Set it forward in between the hands. Rise up, Anjaleyasana. Exhale, cactus arms. Reach back up with the inhale, twist, left arm back, right arm forward with the exhale. Roll, take through the shoulders, straight through your core to turn your body. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, hands down, right knee lifts. Inhale, step to your front of your mat. Exhale, lower. Press into your feet, rise tall. Forward fold, all the way down to the earth. Feet don't do, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fingertips back, left foot. Inhale, right foot follows. Exhale, take a breath in. Knees, chest, chin, hover. Slide through at your cobra. Exhale, lower. Inhale to tabletop, back to child's pose with the exhale. Bring your hands back by your feet. You might need to glance up to see what I'm doing. Turn your fingers back, open through the heart. If you wish, you can lift the hips off the heels. Toes can be curled, the feet can be flat. Hold through the inhale, hold through the exhale. Another breath in, exhale, hips back down. Inhale, cow pose through the tabletop. Exhale, round angry cat. Right leg back in, breath. Knee in the nose, kiss once, set it down. Anjali Asana, inhale, come up. Exhale, cactus the arms. Reach back up with the breath, right arm back, left arm forward, find your twist. Hold it to refine the rotation through the spine, firing up through the core. Come back through center with the inhale, hands to the mat, pause here on the exhale. Now I want you to swing this left leg around so it's parallel to the front and you're gonna come up and it's sort of like a warrior two position, you're just on your back knee. Now let's get a little warmth to this right inner thigh. So you push and extend back. Empty, sink forward. You should warm up through the inner thigh here. Sink it forward. Press away with an inhale. Exhale, sink it forward to hold. Keep your knee nice and square over the ankle. Perhaps you can take a little more depth. Really press forward, get rid down through the feet. Back leg, it's working, it's strong. Right hand flips, reverse it, and then hips, uh, front knee shifts, that right hip shifts forward. Your left glute's probably a little warm here, fired and edged. Rise to warrior two, approach, extended side angle. Bring your left arm straight up first. Right hand can come to a block with spider fingertips, bring the earth closer to. Breathe in, ha. Ah, now I'm feeling a little extension here through the left side of the body. Using my body as a team, the left hand's gonna come back. I'm gonna straighten this right leg and swing the heel back, so I'm in gate pose. Capital T arms, reach your arms up with an inhale. And then the left fingertips reach down, right arm up and over with the exhale. Pause here, press the hips, long, open. 
Reach the arms back up. Return that foot to warrior. Come up and through extended side angle. Pause here. Left arm can stay up or if you're feeling strong and you can keep your shoulder open. Not as strong, but maybe a little more fiery. Now notice here my right elbow is just pressed against my inner thigh. I'm not laying on my thigh. I've got a pressure point here and I push in, I press out. Let's bring some movement to that. Straighten the leg, turn the toes, left fingertips down, right arm up and over. Come up through center with an inhale. Find that extended side angle with the exhale. Come up, open gate pose, left hand down, right arm over. Inhale to center, find your extended side angle again to pause. Now turn, left fingertips come down, walk that right foot out. Swing the left foot around, lift the left knee off the mat. Perhaps you need to shorten your stance, peel your right arm up to the sky. Again, rotation, stacking the right shoulder as much over the left as you can. Palm can be on a block, palm to the earth or spider fingertips. Awareness to this right hip, draw it back. You should feel a nice stretch and extension through the right glute, strength through the left leg. Big breath, exhale, 10 fingers to the earth. Big step, front of the mat is the inhale. Ah, lower to the exhale, rise again, lift up. Forward fold, surrender, take it down. Lengthen, inhale, hands to the mat, exhale. Step the right foot back. Right knee to the earth, Anjali Asana, inhale, breath up. Listen up, exhale, hands to the mat, sweep the left leg back, pointer dog, right arm lifts. Left leg is straight, right fingertips forward, give me an inhale, elbow and knee come together on the exhale, reach to extend with the breath, elbow and knee come together. Reach and extend. Elbow and knee come together. Reach to extend a pause. Perhaps you pulse the thumb up, the heel up for five, four, three, two, one is the inhale. Hand to the mat on the exhale. Take another long breath in. Bring the left knee and the nose together. Set it down. Anjali Asana. That's our first breath up. Cactus the arms, empty it out. Reach back up with the inhale. Twist to the left, left arm back, right arm forward with the exhale. Find your rotation in your spine. Work through the core to turn the body and the shoulders around. Stretch and extend, bright hands, bright heart. Come back up. Anjali Asana, fingers to the earth, pause. Bring the right foot around. Finding that warrior two type position, peel yourself up. Let's warm up this inner thigh, back off with an inhale. Shift forward with the exhale. Back off with the inhale. Shift forward with the exhale. Getting deeper with each uh, transition and then pause here, feel that pose. Check out left knee. Square over the ankle, you should see your big toe. Maybe you want to glance back. What does it look like behind you? How's this right hand working? Is it hanging? Or is it helping you stay tall? Flip the left hand, reverse it. Pause here, keep this back leg strong. Draw the left hip forward. Right leg, firm foundation. Left hand, active, not passive. Rise to warrior two, extended side angle, left fingertips down, right arm straight up high. Pause here to open up through the right side of the body. Come back up to warrior two. Straighten that leg, swing the heel out, gate pose. Capital T arms. Right fingertips come down, left arm up and over. Pause here, press the hips upward and open. 
arms support you. Inhale, come up. Extended side angle, come up and over. Movement, inhale, sweep the left heel. Exhale, reach to the back of the mat. Inhale, return to warrior foot. Exhale, extended side angle. Remember to hook the arm, find that pressure point versus lying on the thigh. Come up, swing the heel out, gate pose. Exhale, stretch it to the side. Inhale, swing the foot, warrior two foot. Exhale to extend its side angle. Let's take another a couple more like that. Gate pose, reach to the back. Warrior two, extend its side angle. So learning how to be light and dance with your feet. Move with the body. Being in the practice, being in the flow versus just holding the pose and doing the pose. Nice. Pause in your extended side angle. 10 fingers down to the earth. Right leg swings. Shorten your stance. Walk the left foot wide as you need to. The right hand stays down. Left arm peels open. Pause here. Now, how can you feel this pose? With subtle shifts, what changes? I'm feeling this in my left glute. My right leg is supportive. It's working and it's active. Left shoulder drawing up, pulling my core in to rotate through the spine. Collective inhale, exhale, 10 fingers to the earth. Big step, front of the mat, breath in. Exhale, fold. Press to the feet, rise up tall. Exhale, forward fold, surrender. Lengthen, inhale, part way. Exhale, fingertips down, left foot back, left knee to the earth. Hands down, right leg sweeps back, pointer dog, left leg, left, left arm lifts up. Give me an inhale, elbow and knee on the exhale. Pointer dog, reach and extend, breath in. Exhale, empty it out. Pointer dog, inhale. Exhale, come together. Inhale, reach to hold, perhaps to pulse. Five, four, three, two, one is the inhale. Left hand comes down on the exhale. Together, another breath in, be in the nose, smooch. Come straight up to that warrior two position. Back off once, inhale, exhale, sink into it. Reverse it. When you arrive there, press the hips further forward. A little more inner thigh stretch. Rise to warrior two. Hook the elbow for your extended side angle. Draw the ribs under. Transition to gate pose. Come up. Swing the heel. Exhale. Left fingertips down. Right arm up and over. Transition. Sweep your feet to warrior two on the inhale. Exhale to the extended side angle. Transition, inhale the gate. Exhale, side and long body. Rise back up, warrior two, just swing the foot. Extended side angle. Rise back up to gate pose. Exhale, bring the left hand down. Walk it a little bit way in front of you. Perhaps you want to balance here, floating that right arm. Another option here, turn the right palm towards the back of your mat, reach, get long, press through the hips. Long line, ankle to fingertip. Where do you feel the strength? Where do you feel, feel the heat building? Nice. See if you can take your gaze higher. Bring the right hand back up. Return to your gate pose. Extended side angle, pause. 10 fingers to the earth, right foot walks over, left knee lifts, shorten your stance, twist. Draw in, pull that right hip back. See if you can bring the right knuckles a little bit further behind you and turn the heart a little more towards the sky. Come back down, 10 fingers, 
Standing split to the front of the mat. Press, lift to extend as the inhale. Knee and the nose come together on the exhale. Lift, standing split, inhale. Knee and the nose. Now the right knee can be bent as much as you need to. Perhaps you just make it more like an L. When you extend, with is a standing split, knee and the nose. And then both feet down to the mat. Flat back stretch with the breath in. Exhale to lower. Rise tall, inhale. Exhale, forward fold, surrender. Lengthen part way with the breath, hands to the mat, step the right foot back. Anjaleyasana, right knee down, arms extend, breath in. Hands to the mat, left foot sweeps back. Right arm lifts once it arrives, pointer dog is the inhale. Elbow and knee is the exhale, pointer dog, inhale. Elbow to knee on the exhale, pointer dog, inhale. Elbow to knee, exhale, pointer dog to hold. Your choice, pulse, hold, or reach back and find. Connecting with that left ankle, opening through the right shoulder. Left hand stable and strong. Release your arm forward, express the leg back as the inhale. Exhale, hand to the mat. Take another inhale. Give the left knee a kiss. Step it forward. Rise to that modified warrior two. Back off, inhale. Sink forward, exhale. Reverse it. Keep nice distance versus using your elbow to reach back. Let the arm stay straight and you get more stretch to the side of the body. Rise to warrior two, hook the elbow, find your pressure point, or let right arm up and over, pause here. Bringing movement and grace with our practice, feeling the transition with the flow, rise to gate pose with an inhale. Right fingertips down, left arm up and over on the exhale. Return to warrior two with the inhale. The extended side angle hook on the exhale. Gate pose, inhale. Reach on the exhale. Warrior two, exhale, extended side angle. Another round, gate pose. Okay. Stretch. Return to warrior two, extended side angle. Return to your gate pose with an inhale, then shift a little bit further forward, Right hand flat plants, left leg floats. Left hand can stay straight up or turn the palm towards the back of your mat and find extension. Now as those, that hand reaches and that foot gets stronger, I'm pushing my hips open. It's just a little momentum pushing my hips forward. This left leg is very, very active. Perhaps you turn your heart up, gaze up. Left hand comes back to neutral, left foot lowers to the earth. Come up to the warrior two, find your extended side angle. And then 10 fingers to the earth, left foot walks slide. Right knee lifts, easy twist, shorten your stance. And then make this pose bigger. Bigger with the heart and the shoulders. Trying to get the heart higher. Awareness at the front knee, it wants to fall open, keep it inward. A block underneath your right hand will help make that happen. Take a breath in, exhale, 10 fingers to the earth. Big step to standing split, be buoyant, inhale, Knee and the nose is the exhale. Standing split inhale. Knee to the nose is the exhale. Standing split with the breath in. Knee to the nose. Empty it out. Both feet to the earth. Ah, flat back stretch. Exhale lower. Press to the feet. Rise to the sun. 
Forward fold, surrender to the earth. Let's just finish this side out. Lengthen, inhale. Left foot back, exhale. Anjali Asana brings that breath back in. Empty it out as the hands lower down. The closer you get your hands to that left knee, the easier it'll be for this transition. Slide that right leg back, left leg, left arm reaches forward, pointer dog. Inhale, elbow to knee, exhale. Pointer dog with the breath in. Exhale, elbow to knee. Pointer dog. Exhale, elbow to knee. Pointer dog to hold. Bend the knee if you wish. Reach back to bind or keep the arm forward and the leg straight. You can pulse or hold it. You choose. We're going through five, four, three, two. Release forward and back on the inhale. Both hand and knee to the mat on the exhale. Sit back on your heels. Turn your fingers towards the wall behind you. Press into the feet, the knees, lift through the heart. Four, three, two, one for the inhale. Hips lower with the exhale. Return to tabletop. Find your distance, line the joints up, shoulders and hips. Actually, let's walk our knees back and swing through child's pose. Round to the right, swing to the left. Woo. Swing up, exhale, empty left. Switch directions, swing left. And right, swing left, and right, one more round to the left, and around to the right, child's pose, round up to angry cat, inhale cow, neutral spine. We'll cool it down as soon as the song leaves. It's you're following with me or on that little senorita song, senorita song, and it's a little too spicy, so let's keep playing with it. Here we go. Hands wide, curl the toes, float the knees. Now from floating knee, tabletop, I just want you to press into the hands, keep the knees bent, and push your chest to the thigh, you're in a crouching down dog. Return, either tabletop or knees float, you choose, crouching down dog. Return, floating your table, crouching down dog, nice hand strength, nice forearm strength, floating table or table, crouching down dog. Ah, my quads are working, floating table or tabletop. Crouching down dog, hold here, three, two, take a big breath in and lift through the hips, exhale, heels down, Ooh. and turn the head shoulder to shoulder. Down dog is uncomfortable for you, take a little tabletop. All right, well, let's walk our hands to the back of the mat. The music's still a little spicy. <laughs> kind of gives you a little lift in your step. So find a nice, solid foundation with your feet, thumbs in the creases of the elbows, let the head hang and swing gently side to side. We can get spicy as we loosen up. Transitioning, getting loose. Now release the arms and let them swing. And then come to center, let the hands hang, root through the feet, scoop through the navel, right down it up. Five, four, three, two, one. Shoulders, neck, and head. Inhale, reach your arms up overhead. Light as breath as you exhale and forward fold. Right down it up. Five, four, three, two, one, shoulders, neck, and head lift. Inhale, reach the arms up. Lion's breath. <sighs> One more round. Right down it up. Five, four, three, two, two, two. 
shoulders, neck and head. Inhale, reach up. <sighs> Line your breath forward. Walk your way back out. Down dog. Give me an inhale. Uh, exhale it out. Now remember in your down dog, you want an upside deep fashion. As much strength in those forearms like we just did from table to crouching dog. Knees can be soft, heels do not have to touch, they can float. But we want to look for length in our spine. Now see if we can bring that right leg up behind you with an inhale. Bring the knee and the nose together on the exhale. If you can kiss it, step it down in between the hands. Open up for traditional warrior two. How you doing? Pause here. Let's get a little. Inhale, straighten the leg. Exhale, knee bends. Knee over the ankle. Inhale, straighten a bit. Exhale, knee bends. Little less strength and a little more depth. Pause here. Let's see what it looks like behind us and in front of us. Now flip the palm, keep your arms parallel, reverse it. Remember, reach with the hand like you're high-fiving the back wall versus bend with the elbow. Get that extension through the side of the body. Rise to warrior two. Extended side angle block can be your friend here. Hand down, pressure point, arm and knee. Left arm lifts up. Now if you're using a block, slide it out of the way. Bring 10 fingers to the earth. Turn your toes all facing the left side of the mat. Shift the hips back, weight back to that left leg. Arms out, capital T, or fingers to the earth. Hands to the earth, transition back to that extended side angle. Arm up high if you wish. Don't let the shoulder close. Transition back, turn the toes. Return, extended side angle. To the back of the mat. And pause here. Maybe you want a little spice, bring your hands to the heart and lift this left heel. Keep these toes, outer edge of the foot supported, leg grounded. Now lower the left heel, I want you to power up, open up, warrior two. Left arm comes around, high press and pose as your inhale. Cactus to hover with the exhale. Bring that breath in. Exhale, hands to the mat. Left knee lowers, right leg sweeps back, left arm lifts, inhale, elbow and knee, exhale. Extend, inhale, elbow and knee, exhale. Extend, elbow to knee, extend, hand down, knee down. Toes curl, knees float, breath in, crouching down dog, strong through the hands. Floating table, crouching down dog, table or float, crouching down dog, table or float, crouching down dog, the hold here. Strong through the hands, take a big breath together, lift through the hips, lower the heels, Ooh, empty it out, left side, bring the left leg up. Knee in the nose, smack. Traditional warrior two. Find the foundation with your feet. Back off a bit, sink into it. Back off, sink. Back off just a little, sink to hold. Check out behind you. Return to what lies ahead. Strong through this leg, strong through this quad. Ribs in, flip, reverse it. Break through the hand. Rise to warrior two. Block the 
is our friend here. Hand the block, press your knee and arm. Gaze upward. Slide the block out of the way. Sweep the arms to the earth. Shift the hips, shift the toes. Come back, capital T arms. Sweep the earth, return to extend and side angle. Sweep back, turn the toes, capital T arms. Return to extend and side angle. Sweep back, turn the toes, standing gate pose, pause here. How can this pose be different for you? Perhaps you want to lift that right heel. Hands to prayer. Breath steady. Even it out. Now we're going to lower the right heel. We're going to power up to warrior two. Right arm comes around. It helps us transition. High crescent pose. Inhale. Cactus. Exhale. Reach back up. Breath in. Hands to the mat. Right knee lowers, left knee sweeps back, right arm reaches to extend, inhale, elbow and knee, exhale. Reach to extend, inhale, elbow to knee, exhale. Reach to extend, elbow to knee, and extend, limbs to the earth. Toes curl, knees float, breath in, crouching dog, push it away. Table or float, crouching dog, press it away. Table or float, crouching dog to pause here, break through the arms. Find that distance in the base of the arms, press into the balls of the feet, lift through the hips. Ah, heels reach towards the earth, they don't have to touch. Walk your hands to the back of the mat. Heel toe your feet out nice and wide. I'm going to move forward just to make sure you can see me in the screen. Malasana squat. So staying on the back of your mat, find your Malasana squat. If you need to reach up and grab a block and sit on it, block's always welcome to you. But try not to just, oh, okay, I'm going to sit here. Find some active um, strength with this. The block is a little bit of a stabilizer versus a platform. Heart high. Press in. Pressure point. Knees against the arms. Arms against the knee. With that action, the heart broadens. Close the eyes. Breath in. Ah, let it go. Breath in. Legs are active. Let it go. Breath in. Ah, let it go. Palms to the earth. Lift the hips. Keep the feet wide. Walk the hands around to the left side of the mat. Take your block with you if you need a little elevation. And as I press down with the right hand, I'm pulling with the right hip. So I get a nice stretch from my right hip through the ribs to the right wrist. Block can come with you. Walk to the other direction. Strong through the left hand. Pull back with the left hip. Stretch through the arm to the hips, to the ribs. And release, come to center. Walk your way back to down dog. You're on the back of your mat. You walk your hands out. Find your down dog. Breath in. High, empty it out. And in. Ooh, release, let it go. Let's return to the back of our mat. Press into your feet, rise tall. Inhale, come on up. Hands to heart center. I'm going to come back to the center and turn to you so you can see me. We're going to work on our tree pose. We're going to work on growing our branches and moving with the wind. 
So let's start with the left leg as base. Bring the right knee up. You close the knee to keep it safe. Using your hands at your ankles, you rotate that knee open. Your inner thighs should be nice and extended. Your external should be a little looser. Now, if this is too intense for you or uncomfortable, first let's dissect this. Press this leg in, press the right foot, pressure point inward. Option B, below the knee. Option C, toe to the earth. So you find your stance for your tree pose. Now lift your hands, lift your gaze, lift your heart, turn your palms back behind you. And maybe you find a little movement. We have to learn to balance through all this stuff. If you haven't been practicing with your balance work, your feet might be a little bit stiff. If this is new to you, if you've been working on this for a while, you probably have noticed the ability and agility in your feet to help you through the breath and the pose to be in the pose and not just do the pose. Bring the knee forward with the inhale, exhale, foot to the earth. Shake it out, root down, rise up, inhale. Ha, forward fold, exhale. Make it sacred. Come back up to standing with the inhale, hands to heart center with the exhale. Pause again. Transitioning, right leg is strong. Draw that right hip under, lift the left knee up, close the knee to protect it. Nice little rotation through the femur to open the knee, keeping the joint safe. Find your balance underneath you. Reach your arms. Find your focal point and then your movement. So how often do you Force yourself to change your pose. You know, we kind of get stuck in roles, roles of life, either mother, father, boss, friend, daughter, son. Bring your knee forward and release, let it go. And we need to learn to move smoothly between those roles and responsibility to be in each moment, exhale, forward, fold, as they call, but to transition, to keep ourselves in living with life. Find your way back to down dog. From down dog, shift to plank. You can use your knees if you need to. We're going to create a little strength here. I'm counting. We're moving in a long line through the spine to the mat. Breath in. Exhale. Draw your elbows back whether your knees are down or your legs are straight. Pause in the chaturanga and then lower to the earth. Find length and extension. Turn one ear to the earth, bring the hands down by the hips, jiggle a little left and right. And come through center with the chin, opposite ear to the earth. Perhaps you bend the knees and once you wipe with the legs, just to loosen up the lower back. And then feet to the mat. Forehead to neutral, roll over to your backs. If you've got that blanket on your mat, you might want to reposition it so your feet are on the sticky part of your mat versus your blanket. Walk your shoulders underneath to support you. Press into the feet, lift through the hips and the heart. Walk the shoulders deeper. Perhaps you can clasp the hands underneath the hips. And allow your body to 
open and expand with the breath to surrender and release as you empty it out. Strong through your feet. Strong through the legs. Keep lifting through the hips and broadening through the heart, the collarbone, and the sternum. Take a big inhale. Ah, lower the back to the earth with the exhale. Try and roll it down like a string of pearls from the top of the vertebra to your hips are the last to connect in the tailbone. Draw the knees into the chest. Perhaps you give yourself another hug for the day for taking the time to commit to your practice with full presence. Right knee stays in and then pull it across the body. Gaze goes to the right shoulder. If you find the right shoulder lifting off the mat, release the tension on the right knee. Let your body have the opportunity to open through here. Keep the shoulder down, and as your body gets more length in the side, the knee will get closer to the earth. But the body needs the time for that transition. And come back through the center, both knees to the chest. Perhaps another good hug. Feet down. Your distance of your ankles, they just graze the edge of your fingertips. That stacks your ankles underneath your knees. Walk the shoulders, lift through the hips and the heart. If you want a deeper back bend, feel free to take it. Draw into this pose with your breath. I was having a conversation with a friend this morning and he shared with me his excitement of a new business. And yet with that excitement, He's fully aware that in the past, a new business consumed him, and it was all he was. It was the only pose he held in life. It was the only role he played, and without saying, perhaps it was at the cost of other roles and responsibilities. But his point was he became isolated because he was so consumed. And so he was going to move forward cautiously with wonder and curious and intention, but also with the new knowledge that that one world can't be everything. Can't be all that he does. It can't be all that he is. Lower your spine to the earth and draw the knees into the chest. And that, my friends, is why we have a practice to be mindfully present in everything that we do, not just while we're moving our bodies and finding strength on our mat, take your twist, but as if we go through those emotions in life, our roots are deep. They've gone and penetrated deep, buried deep into the earth. Our leaves are blowing in the wind and shining in the light. Yet we transition from point to point through the breath, finding support, integrating the mind, body, and soul, come back to center, knees to the chest. Lift yourself back up for a nice hug. And then from here, roll yourself up to a seated position. Right foot comes in, left leg nice and strong. We're going to take a seated twist. And again, this is just a point of contact to the mat versus the platform. Try to keep the spine long, straight over the tailbone versus leaning back. And then return to center. Hug this right foot in, open the right knee up, and let's take our counter twist using the right hand outside the left knee, left fingertips behind you. 
Gaze goes over that left shoulder. Come back through to center and then walk yourself down into a fold. You can use a strap around your foot or you just reach with the palms and just sort of drag through the palms to get longer through the spine and open through the heart as you fold into it. Come up with an inhale, bring that right hand to the back of the mat, swing and lift, stargazer pose, say gratitude to the universe for who you are right here, right now, in this moment, in this space of life. And then switch sides, right leg strong, left knee bends, tall through your spine again, hug, turn to twist. Reference point with the left fingertips versus the crutch. Tall through the spine, rotate through the shoulders, pull the stomach in, unwind through center, John Yushasasana, bring the left foot high inside the right thigh, take your counter twist. Still working at keeping the shoulders over the hips. And then come back through center. If you find yourself caving at the waist when you're in these seated positions, just create a little shelf with your blankets or your blocks just to elevate the hips and it allows you to stay taller. Now we're gonna walk our chest toward our thigh and again, if you have to collapse here to get the thigh and the ribs closer together, back off. Give your body the chance to open, to transition. And breathe into it. Perhaps with each breath, you feel a little tension release and you can melt a little closer towards that thigh. Bring yourself back up to center. I'm going to turn to face you. Bring both feet in, soles of the feet together, knees open like butterflies. Again, if you need to elevate through your hips, do so. We're not done yet, Amy. Tall through the spine. Maybe this is your expression of the pose. And your inner thighs are getting all the extension they need here. As long as you're Waist is long, that's all you need. If you start to cave through the waist, back off, pull the feet a little away from the hips, but stay long. And if you're open enough to fold into, inward, to the middle, towards the floor, then let your body expand there. If you're not quite ready for that expression of the pose, it's okay. You're perfect right where you are. And then back off again. Extend the legs out wide. Lift so you're on your sits bones. Pull the flesh out from underneath the hips. And then walk the palms forward again. Maybe this is all the more you need. Just seated position. We're still not done, mother. If you're ready to walk the palms forward and get a little more inner thigh stretch, take that. But be mindful of how you're, if you're compromising with the pose, yeah, I really didn't want to kiss like that. How you're com if you're compromising with the pose, Lily, to get into your fold, be true to the pose, be true to yourself. Don't compromise just for the sake of getting your chest closer to the earth. I love you too, but you're not. Toes are up, legs are strong. And then inhale, come on up. Swing your legs back to the front of the mat. Plant the feet. Reach the fingers forward. 
Slowly lower your shoulders to the earth for five. Try not to let the feet slide. Four, three, two, and one. Shoulders come to the mat. Draw your knees into your chest. You can elevate the legs, just inverted action pose. You can slide a block underneath your hips. You can slide your hand underneath your hips. If you're comfortable with the shoulder stand and you know your neck is safe and you don't have a puppy in your ear, you can transition, Lily, please, and lift through the hips. Lily, go back to your bed. Reach through the feet. It's a shoulder stand. If that's your practice, make sure your neck is safe. taking a few moments to change the direction of the flow of the blood from our feet to our heart. From shoulder stand, carefully draw your knees down, perhaps cloud pose. It's comfortable for you. I can't say it enough. Make sure there's no pressure on your neck. Notice how I've rolled my shoulders underneath to support my hands. If your hips are on the block and your legs are up high, that's great. Stay there for a little longer. And then from plow pose, slowly unwind. If your hips are on a block and your legs are up straight, slide the block out from underneath you. Everybody meet in happy baby pose. Happy baby pose is our spine neutralizer. So you want the hips to connect to the earth. Adjust your grasp. Just lock your forearms around the backs of your knees, your thighs. Just to open the hips is all we're trying to do here. And lengthen the spine. And rock, get into your pose. Melt to the earth. Awareness to your neck and your chin. We have a tendency to lift our chin up. Lift your head, flatten your neck. Tuck your chin slightly and then lower the head back down. We're headed to Shavasana. So from here, you extend your legs out to the left and to the right. Externally rotate your hands so your palms are upward. And you melt into your shavasana. Being one with the breath. Coming back to our opening song. Work. The work of every leaf is to open in the sun. The work of every root is to tunnel through the earth. My work, our work, your work, is to recognize the interior of our soul and wonder at the difference between life and living. Are you doing? Are you being? Are you living? Moving through your weekend, through your next week with awareness is to your approach. Taskmaster? Or more thoughtful intentions? Carefully draw your knees into your chest. Give yourself a nice big hug. And then roll to one side or the other and pause there. Honoring the transition from the end of your practice, Shavasana, also known as corpse pose, to the fetal position. A new beginning, a new start, a new approach, a new view. Be.
Push yourself up to a seated position. Hands to prayer, thumbs at the heart center. Closing our practice with a round of bone. Breathe in. Empty out. Inhale for home. to the third eye. Your light divinity in me honors that that shines within you. May you walk in this earth with grace and strength. Namaste. Thank you, everybody. I hope you have an amazing week. Namaste.